Hey, hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 22nd episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. I am your host, Bill Cox, of course. For those new to the show, the format is simple, structured like a prize by two original comic art dealers, compete for your hard-earned cash, presenting art for sale that is either new to the market or priced to sell. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During this evening's show, there are 12 rounds of art for sale. Tonight's round-by-round -round pricing is a little different than usual. Prices range from $350 to uh, actually $6,800 this evening, with the average price of the art being for sale around $1,000. Unlike a normal match, each dealer will present two artworks per round for all 12 rounds. Each round gives the dealer 90 seconds to make their pitch to sell the art. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing to this channel and smash the like button like Nick tells you to and turn on notifications so you never miss a future episode. To claim an artwork you want to buy, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 8A-Mike or claim 8B-Anthony. The word claim followed by the round number, a dash, and the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork, the exact claim wording will be on the screen just above the art description. Try to claim a piece of art during the 90 second round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You will be given a last chance at an artwork during the recap, where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal if the deal and duel is indeed a close one. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues. When several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time, your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly, and we will make the final decision for who has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's 90-second round, you may make an offer to the dealer. The dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept this offer. Be courteous and only message dealers who are currently in their 90-second spotlight. After the show, please contact the dealer if you claimed any artwork. Let them know which artwork you claimed along with your mailing address and your YouTube or Facebook name. Let's get ready to wheel and deal! I am That's almost out of here. <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen that many before. I can guarantee you that. How's it going, guys? Real good, real awesome. good. Awesome, awesome. That is what I like to hear. That is very Let's much what ready to wheel and deal some sketches. That's right. It's a very different format. We've done this once before, so this is the second time that we have done a sketch show. And uh, format, of course, is a little different, as I've already explained. So we've only got 12 rounds this time, 90 seconds per round. There will be two artworks for every round. So during every round, please remember there is an A or a B. So when you're claiming, please be sure to include both you know, the A or the B, depending on which one it is. All right. So uh, if everybody is ready. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> She's feeling froggy tonight. I can tell. I wow. can tell. <laughs> I thought she was baby Godzilla. I didn't know. <laughs> or Pikachu or somebody. This will be explained later, actually. That's very cute. I have a feeling the cake is going to be somewhat looking like Sharon. Clammy oh, yeah, and froggy. A clammy. <laughs> clammy frog. I think it's a mudkip when it's Pokemon, but I could be wrong. Uh, I'm sure my children will correct Goodness, me. Goodness, you're cute. All right, so let's get this coin flip out of the way so we can see which one of these oh, gentlemen get to go please. first. Why bother? You know who's going to win? Show oh. the Berkster face. The Berkster face. Yeah. Man. Oh, what the fix is in rock? I think, how many episodes? This is our episode 22? This is 22, yes. I think I've won, I think I've been first 17 times. 17 or I lost times. 17 flips in a row one time on deals. <laughs> 17 really? in a row I lost. That's almost like, unheard of. <laughs> that is insane. Uh, and so, uh, Tony, hey, thank you very much. We got the ball rolling. Daddy Daughter Vacation is only a few days away. And Ron, thank you so much. First Pina Colada is on you. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're going right. to go out and make some memories. 
I, I don't know. I'm, you know what? The, I have been so busy. I haven't even planned. I don't even know what hotel I'm staying at. Maureen's going to hand me the itinerary when I'm get, exiting the vehicle at the airport. And that's what I'm doing because I literally have not made any plans while I'm out. Uh, I know what I want to do, but other than that, we'll see. So hard with everything else. So that's really great. Thank you, Maureen. That's yes. cool. <laughs> All right, and I've got my George Perez shirt on for everybody tonight. It was his birthday recently, too, so that's nice. Full of yeah. drinks. All right, yeah, I should stay on the beach. I am staying on the beach, definitely. All right, so let's get uh, started here with Ocean. Mr. Berkey. Clammy or clammy? That's what Wes says. That's a good question. <laughs> clammy, not clammy, huh? Well, at the moment, we're going to find out. We want to get some clammy artworks up here on the screen. All right, Mike, let's get you started with Is your... that first one. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You know what? I didn't have you guys in the right. In, in the... Mm -hmm. I, was I, like being, I there. like being on the right. No, nope, you're on the left. I'm sorry. I that is it. Or that way. Yeah, that way. <laughs> I knew something wasn't feeling right this evening. All right. So here we go, Mike. Let's get your artwork on the All screen. Right. I'm trying to get... Very first piece, folks. I don't know if people know Val Merrick. I consider, you know, he was Marvel's, what, what Marvel thought Bernie Wrightson would be. This is just a beautiful, it's undated, but a beautiful, beautiful painting of, of Frankenstein's monster. Just a beautiful 8.7 by 11 inch uh, painting. And I know, that, I know the light doesn't do it justice, but it's a beautiful edge to edge by Val Merrick. Just a beautiful Frankenstein painting, uh, undated by the great Val Merrick, who I think was one of the most underrated Artists of the 1970s for Marvel. You know, he drew a lot of the early monster books. He did some. He did, uh, I believe, uh, the uh, the early uh, Howard the Duck and Plugue Man thing and stuff like that in Fear. But just a beautiful, beautiful painting of uh, Frankenstein by Val Merrick. So that's the first piece. Second piece for you X Men guys. I believe this is from the 80s. Just a very cool Brent Anderson Nightcrawler drawing. It has just a little, little, little uh, 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 fold here, but. Just a really cool uh, 8.75 by 12 inch drawing of uh, uh, Brent Anderson doing the Nightcrawler. And it's one of his older ones now. And we have a claim on 1A I see from Kevin. So yes, the Frankenstein sold. So, uh, but this is the uh, Brent Anderson, beautiful Nightcrawler. This is, this is around 35 to 40 years old, full body shot of Nightcrawler, folks. Just a really, really nice piece. Side Brent Anderson, everything. And this one sold. And that one, number one, did sell. To the monster man himself, Kevin Clement from Chiller Thank Theater. You, Chiller Theater. All right. <laughs> and uh, nice going. Nice going for you, uh, Mike, on your first round here. So, Anthony, you get hey. to move on to your round one artworks. And you yeah. have. Are you ready? Yeah. Why'd you marry me? Uh -oh. <laughs> Here we go. Anthony's going to be on the clock. Anthony, you're go. on the clock. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Did you show anything? Show anything? I still see Berkey. Where's All my right. art? Captain America's on the screen. We got my there it is. There. Now start the clock. All right. Ooh, so we got a, uh, an eight and, a half, eight and a half by 11 Patrick. Pat Broderick, Captain America Commission. Uh, I just got this in this week, and uh, I was lucky enough to uh, see Mr. Broderick last weekend. No, -uh. yeah, yeah, I did, and I got this uh, picked this up from him. Well, this so, is amazing. Yeah, it's really three hundred and fifty bucks. Yep, three fifty uh, for a uh, full figure, full backgrounds. All right, totally. And and your next one up is a uh, Rudy next Nebrez, one up is we have a Rudy Nebrez, uh Vampirella. Oh, I like him. Yeah, very nice man. I was uh, able to see him last week as well and picked this up from him. Direct, fresh to the market from the artist. Yeah, Vampy with hot. some fats. She's got boots. It's so hot right now. She's so hot right now. Do you know what year? Well, it's actually been claimed. Your one V. Uh, Brian Peck was asking also what the uh, the date was on that one, if you can tell by the description. Uh, which one? On the Vampirella. Which, on the Vampy? Yes, uh, but... He usually does date them. Wow. But, 
But Eldon, Mock has claimed it. it. Yes, he did. Date or no date? Uh, yeah. That's all right. Well, yeah. He usually does date them, but this one isn't dated. And this probably is a few years old because uh, Rudy will have stuff that's been laying around. Okay. Eldon, thank you very much for the claim claim. There you go. Tide moving into round two on tonight's sketch art round show. Round two, you X-Men fans, get ready. Another X-Men fan. You get Yay! ready. All right, here we go. Very cool. Look at this. Beautiful from two, 15 years old. Full 11 by 17. Huge mystique pinup. Look at the beauty of that by, by Mike Bear. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous sign piece from 2006. Even the name is drawn. All of it's drawn. Even the wording at the bottom, everything is hand drawn. 11 by 17, 15 years old. Just a beautiful, beautiful. Look at the detail on this thing. Just a beautiful pinup of Mystique. Well endowed Mystique, I must say. Uh, just a beautiful piece, holding a gun. Look at that. She must have stole the Punisher's belt right there. But just a beautiful, beautiful, huge 11 by 17 pinup. Everything is drawn, folks. The borders, the name, the words, everything. Only 500 bucks, 11 by 17 pinup. So that's the first one. Second one is very cool. I think this is a prelim to something published, but I don't know. It's large. Simon Bisley, beautiful Conan illustration. Conan decapitates his villain while protecting a bikini-clad babe. Sign at the bottom. And this is larger. 12 by 16. Uh, okay, Tatiana claimed the mystique, so that one's gone. Thank you, Tatiana. But this beautiful Simon Bisley. Check that one out. Just beautiful. And it might be a prelim to a published piece. I don't know. But it's 12 by 16, and it covers the entire piece. And look at that babe on it, too. And look at the decapitation. Look at that decapitation by Conan. <laughs> no, no, decapitation. The decapitation is extraordinary. <laughs> Can you post West Stefan's post there? It's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> There's no way to get ahead. Very wow. true, very true. All, yeah. Yeah. Did get ahead, but like there, are more, there are far more comedians in the audience this evening than there are here on screen. Thank you, everybody. This is great. And yes, and Bill again has made an appearance. There, there might yeah, be one other. Oh, I didn't check with that. Was that was that, was that bald Billigan or hair Billigan? That was the bald Billigan. Oh wow, I didn't even <laughs> notice him. <laughs> but he was beautiful, beautiful. Yes. As always. <laughs> I like long hair Bill again. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Nothing to lose your head over. See, West or William is on a roll. Everybody is a kind of comedian this evening. All right. Yay! Anthony, you're around bald again. Thing is a yeah. beautiful decapitation. <laughs> All right. I got to stay focused here. All right. So over to Anthony. You're... All right. Here we go. All right. We have a beautiful, beautiful Barbara Gordon, George Perez. 11 by on an 11 by 17 board of you the bad girl break it out <laughs> break it out from 2006 2006 stick with the hair somebody says so barbara great beautiful headshot from about 15 years ago and, and the size of that is that looks bigger yeah, claim. Oh, Kevin giving me some love. Yeah. Kevin Clement picked that one up. Like, yeah, Kevin, Kevin wants this. This is amazing. As I continue to plug your show, Chiller oh, Theater. Wow, when are you coming so back, cute. Kevin? When are you coming back? Thank you, Kevin. Next up is this awesome. Jose Garcia Lopez. All right, Lopez, we got an all Barbara Gordon round here. Oh, this is a Jose oh, Garcia oh, Lopez. Uh, right, I'm excited. Style guide uh, from 2000. And I think that's a 14. Yeah, 14. Man, she's doing and she's major doing martial arts kick. Giving her a kick. kick. I can't remember what it's called. With a heel. I know how to do that. Kicking kick. some heel with her heels. Oh, beautiful anatomy on that. That is a great JGL from Christopher Daly. And the so, cape action. Yeah, it's got a beautiful, beautiful cape action. 
very claimy. Oh, I thought both my Barbara Gordons would go. There's Going all. on vacation. <clears throat> yep. Hope you have a great time, boss. I'll have a great time because I'm not around all you people. <laughs> oh, let's go. Ah. All right, now I got enough stuff to work on while I'm on vacation. That's me. I don't like downtime. I'll see you when I get back. The vacation theme. He really yes. doesn't relax. Uh -huh. And I didn't get to I didn't get to pull this one up for everybody to see, but claim to be was put in by Ron. To be or to be. Oh, okay, great. So both soul. Yes, they did, Barbara sir. Gordon. Yes. Yay, Barbara Gordon's. I was gonna and, say it, and uh, I knew I was, my mic was gonna be muted. So. Thank you, but no, that was Kevin, and this is Ron. Jamil. Jamil. Wait, so they both. Jamil. That's what uh, I have written down. Yes, sir. Okay, girl. Thank you All very right. much, Ron. It's a great Move. piece. Really nice. Moving on to round three here for Mr. Berkey. And round three. Round three. It's a very cool piece, folks. The great Dan Adkins. I love Dan Adkins. Look at this beautiful drawn the original Daredevil from 2008. Uh, this is 9 by 12. Beautiful pen and ink. Beautiful, beautiful drawing. And I actually like that it's sort of cool, which Bill is showing on the back of it. He even explains everything. And uh, uh, that he did on the back, and that and what issues of of uh, Daredevil he worked on, and he signed it. Yep, very cool. From one of the one of the most famous artists, one of the great artists of the Silver Age, the great Dan Adkins, right there, folks. So uh, uh, that's a beauty, and he's not with us anymore. The great Dan Adkins from two thousand and eight. So that's that's the first one, and the second one. I know this is going to go very very cool. Uh, the great Andrew Robinson uh, from 2015 for the beautiful pen, ink, and mixed media. He, he colored it also. And I don't know, uh, for the Ant-Man movie right there at the bottom, 2015. Just a very, very cool Andrew Robinson uh, pin up. His stuff is really tough to get. Uh, it, you can tell uh, uh, Ant-Man is running. Looks like on a guitar, looks like on a, on a guitar, obviously. But very, very cool. And everything is hand-drawn on this 11 by 15.2 inches. Very, very, very cool piece there. So um, that's that one. And so we have both of them still available, folks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Andrew Robinson, and the movies are so great. And this came around right before the first movie. Very cool. Have it. Folks, claim them anytime in the comments section. Yep, and Daryl did mention that Adkins typically wrote his uh, notes on the back like that, so that was yeah. a common thing that he did. All right, Anthony, so over to your round three. Let's get you started right now. Oh, oh, okay. Wrong one. Yeah, now means now. Uh, yep. <laughs> All right, so this one is a very tall about 15 inch uh gray mark she's got hair from 1992. and it's on uh it's on uh, like that 80 weight board that board hello hello, hello. is hello. anybody out there <laughs> they're all out there that's really cool it's beautiful beautiful it's so gray morrow it's super fun. girl full figure pencil oh, art uh i'm gonna give some love to gray morrow tonight so be prepared and then we have, oh, yeah. Now, this one. Dun, dun, dun. What? This one is a Harley, and uh, it was done by Barry Kitson in pencil. And I had Scott Hanna ink it myself. And uh, so it's uh, pencils by Barry Kitson and inks by Scott Hanna. So I had this all, I bought this from Barry Kitson and had Scott uh, ink it himself. And uh, so it's got the double duty of those two Hall of Famers with the great Joker in the background. Ooh, Kitson, Whoa. Margaret says. Ooh. With the big Harley. What? Goose egg. Skunk on that one. Those are going to sell. Those are nice pieces. They are. They're beautiful, beautiful. They are. 
All right, we're moving on to round four. Anthony's got a $450 lead on Mike right now, so we'll see uh, if he can. We got a very sexy piece here for you folks. We got a very sexy piece for you Jim Silky fans out there. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Check this out. Beautiful Betty Page. It's drawn on it's drawn on like a, a manila paper, but just a beautiful, beautiful image of Betty Page and a sexy, sexy pose here from 1995. This is 26 years old, eight and a quarter by 12.4. Beautiful Betty Page pinup. And uh, I mean, the detail on this is extraordinary. Look at the detail on that. Just a beautiful Betty Page pinup by the great pinup artist, Jim Silky. And he dated it 1995. So a very cool piece there. Uh, that is the first one, folks, for you Jim Silky fans. The next piece is quite unique in, in many ways. Okay, it is wow. a beautiful 1970s uh, John Basema Conan Freeland page, but I like it, it all battle, all battle. You can see it to the right, but I love on the back of it. If you read it, he's talking about his whole life. Program. This is John Basema writing to himself. Quit smoking, exercise, weights, food, read books, vitamins, recreation, empty the room in the cellar, then secondary things to do. The pool, studio cleanup, finish working on the house, the porch, steps. He's telling his whole life on things he has to do for his life to make his life better. So I just thought that was a neat inside look into the great John Basema. And it's all drawn on the back of this really, really cool Conan. Channel Freeland page, so very, very interesting. Cool. That could have been hanging on his fridge. The yeah. uh, honey do list probably, he had to get done. Probably hanging up for, for a long time. But that's and, on the back. I thought that was sort of cool. Work on your budget. <laughs> and John Clancy has mentioned that he has owned two of the artworks that you've had for sale so far this evening. Is that right? That yeah, the uh, Silky was one of them. And ah. uh, the earlier one was the Mayeric. Uh very so all right. Cool. Yep, Anthony, over to your round four here. So let's uh, get your artwork on the screen and get you started. Boom! All right, oh, we got the, boom. The, the great Gonzalo Mayo. I, you know, Berkey said uh, in a previous episode that this was uh, his favorite Vampirella artist, and I happen to agree. I think he's a beautiful girls, beautiful girls have this at about. What is it? Mm, a 12 by 17, 16, 17. Yeah. Yeah. Art and dairy products available from the Vampirella. I yes. Really like it. Yep. And that's All like right. uh, an ink and what? Oh, Nick. well, we got a yep. couple claims. Yeah. Right? Fraz Caddy got in ahead of Eldon and Nick. Congratulations, Fred. So on to your next artwork right, here. Thank Anthony. you very much. It's a really nice piece. Okay. Um, now this I picked up recently, and uh, since we can you uh, show it full frame? I picked this up recently, and I'm a big fan of Super Friends, but I decided to offer this on the show. And uh, move over over a little bit. Look. This is not just a regular cell drawing. This is a pan and scan cell drawing. It's like double the size and it actually says pan and scan from Super, Hero, Super Friends and it's got scene 125, background 125, 128. Is that an animation? Yeah, it's animation. Yep, it's the animation art uh, with uh, Batman and Robin and Flash and uh, Toth-esque, you know, unknown. Is it too much to ask for a few days off? Come on, guys. Where's the Actually, train? <laughs> it is hey, too I... much to ask. <laughs> it is too much to ask. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. We guys. don't I need gotta... no stinking vacations. <laughs> that was Berkzilla. Berkzilla. That's, they... that's one way to get sunburned. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I know. I need some sun. I haven't been outside in a long, long time. <laughs> all right. Oh, if boy. you're going to like get all uh, in uh, what? 
claim three A Anthony. Which one was that? Claim? Uh, no, there's uh, that's not what. Uh, or what are we talking about? Kevin Clement was trying to claim three Anthony, but uh, uh, let's see. Oh, is Kevin really trying to claim three A? Because since we were just finishing round four, your three A was the Gray Morrow. I guess it'd be nice to. Oh, the Supergirl. Well, that's that's what your three A was. So okay. if uh, Kevin can uh, confirm that, then we're all good. I'm happy to mark that one off as sold. Berkzilla. Cool. All right. Hey, before we go, I want people to just, I forgot to mention, this is Belit battling on the page with Conan. The page before, you know, Belit pages go for a ton of money. That is Belit uh, battling with Conan on the page before. I forgot to mention that like an idiot. So, <laughs> but it is. Right. Conan, you're you're too busy going. with having him having to clean his pool. Exactly. And just for confirmation, Kevin Clement did pick up the 3A artwork. The Gray Morrow. So, Congrats. congratulations. Thank you, Kevin, Thank you, Kevin, from Chiller Theater. Very Looking nice. forward to Chiller Theater coming back to Bergen County. All right, moving over to round five. And let's get five. started off on this one. Here we go. I'm copying my buddy Anthony. Anthony had a Vampirilla, uh, oh, and I believe oh, nice. it was drawn recently. But I have a from the year 2000. 11 by 14, beautiful red sun, and drawn in the year 2000. This is 21 years old, drawn edge to edge. Just a beautiful, beautiful red sun, yeah, and signed and dated. Just a phenomenal piece. Claim. Yes. Uh, let's see. Andrew Gorlick came in at, just ahead of Scott Reno and Stephen Crawford. And listen, this next piece is going to go, folks, so get ready. This is a great 1970s piece. This is one of the earliest... This was drawn only two months after Don Perlin took over the Werewolf by Night uh, comic book in 19, 1974 with a hilarious gag. Uh, Don Perlin, his first Werewolf by Night book was issue 17, dated May 74, and he did this drawing. This is a bigger drawing, 11.2 by 14, and he drew this July 7th, 1974. Whole body shot of Werewolf by Night. Just a really cool, pretty much, it's probably, arguably, the earliest sketch drawing of, of the character he ever drew. And he's probably most known for Werewolf, his Werewolf by Night run. Probably the earliest drawing ever by him. Just a really, really cool full body shot. Don't worry, Tom. I just look mad because of all these damn fleas. And even like John Perlin, Werewolf by Night. Just a really, really cool piece. So that's an early piece of history, folks. There you have it. Congratulations, Andrew, on the, the Rudy Nevers pickup. That was a Thank beauty. you on that one. All right. So we're moving over to the five artworks for Anthony. And here we go. First one for you, Anthony. All right. This one is about... About nine by nine paper, but the, I got this uh, a few weeks ago from the guy who got it at the show in 1983 from Tottleman. He had him do this. This sketch has been in this man's collection since 1983. Isn't that cool? That's a beauty. Really nice. Great, great expression on antigen's face there it is <clears throat> yeah, that's i thought awesome. that was really cool i mean i got a few really nice sketches from this collector uh it's the first time he'd ever sold anything i drove about an hour to get to him uh and then uh i actually got this from him as well this kaluta which is a, a really just picturesque and beautiful art deco Rick Welsh bought your first one. Nude. Uh, so it looks like a, a pencil prelim to a painting uh, or some sort of design piece that he did. Uh, just an elegant beauty of Mike's pencils. Uh, I just really appreciate it. Rick Welch is 5A. Which one? That was the Toddleman. Yeah, the Toddleman okay. Wow, Sharon, your hands have gotten really strong. Wow. What? Ah! Hey, I love you! 
Ah! Ah! Vacation's over! <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, I'm sure Sharon loves that one, too. Then she stepped out and missed it. And I had not shown her that. And, uh, yeah, the uh, Robert Carlin said the Cluda looks like a Metropolis prelim. I completely agree. That was kind of the vibe I was thinking as well. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and there no, there are no two Key McFarlane's coming up today. All right. So we're moving over to round six, almost to the midway point of today's show. And, Mike, you get to start us off on this one. So uh, round you're already, six. If you're, you're a fan of sketches and signatures, 16 vintage signatures, as well as drawings by Sergio Aragonas, you got signatures. This is all done in 74. Archie Goodwin, Rich Buckler, Don Perlin, Sergio Aragonas, and he drew three cool creatures. Roy Thomas, Neil Adams, Al Migram, Vicente Alcazar, Ralph Reese, Barry Smith, Larry Hama, Marie Severn also did a drawing, Bob Kane, Ken Barr, Sal Amendola, and Bob Brown. I just thought it's a very cool piece. You get, you get like Marie Severn and, and Sergio Aragonas pinups and 16 different artist signatures, and this was all done in 1974. So I just thought this is just such a super cool piece. Uh, 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 20, uh, that's 47 years old. I just thought, what a cool piece. And you get the drawings, too, by Sergio and Marie. So that's the first one. Very cool. And a beautiful 11 by 17, Bob Layton, huge Iron Man from 2011. 10 years old, beautiful, beautiful. On 11 by 17 marble board, huge image of Iron Man. Drawn by the preeminent 1970s Iron Man artist, or most late 70s all throughout the 80s the great bob layton just a great 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 piece there so but that's awesome and like i said 16 different artists including neil adams barry smith just everybody so many that are not with us anymore just a really cool piece really cool piece so very cool 11 by 17 folks all right, we're moving over to Anthony's round six, where he is currently in the lead by uh, $1,525. All right. That $25 so, is going to make all the difference. It tends to when you win. Whoa, whoa. Okay, wait till He's you see me this twice by $25. Yes, he has. He this certainly has. Sharon missed the, uh, that last meme. I wish uh, we could uh, show it again. If I sell... Wow, Sharon, your hands have gotten really strong. Wow. What? Ah! Hey, I love you! Ah! Ah! Vacation's over! <laughs> Vacation is over. No, Mario's awesome. You love Mario. Not that he much. All right. Anthony and Anthony Mario. Mario is the only man I let touch me, actually. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Round six of you. All right. Again, from this great sketch collection that I bought into a few weeks ago, uh, this Wally Wood, it's signed Wallace Wood, uh, all ink, and a little, uh, I don't know, what do you call her? A little wood nymph? On a, on a toadstool? toadstool? Sure. Yeah, sure. Anyway, he was famous for uh, these uh, sort of characters later in life and uh, later in his career. And it's just really clean. How many awesome. hands, Sharon? It's 9 by 12 paper, 9 it's by 12. Two hands <laughs> by uh, one and a half hands. She's like 100 in little uh, elf uh, wood nymphy years. All right. And then, amazing. This is no. All right, this now, Scott. Uh, I was uh, saw Scott a couple weeks ago, and uh, he told me, "Can you show it in the frame, shoe?" Well, it's right there. You know, he's uh, he did a lot of commissions during the lockdown, and he's gotten a lot of confidence in doing his own art now. And so, this is a an eleven by seventeen. Well, I'm loving my 14, uh, MJ and Spidey Man. Spidey Man. Love it. All, all by Scott and Hannah. Pencils, inks, and uh, uh, watercolors. 
Very no cool piece. Very cool piece. Skunked in round six for both of you. Mm. Yes. <laughs> All right, moving over to round seven. And you get to start us off. Round Mike. seven, beautiful piece. Here we go. This is a, a homage to Barry Smith, just a beautiful Jeff Eicherwood. Beautiful, 17 by 11. I'm not sure if that's Red Sonny or not. Probably not, but I don't know who the girl is. But uh, just a beautiful, another decapitation page. He's, Conan's really getting ahead in life, folks. Conan is really getting ahead in life. Just a beautiful Conan. This is full edge to edge, 17 by 11. Beautiful pen, ink, and watercolor and marker. Mixed media. Beautiful, beautiful. Be another beheading pinup. And he even wrote at the bottom. And, and this is older. This is 12 years old. I sure would. After Barry Smith. Just a beautiful. I mean, look at the detail on this piece. This thing is just extraordinary. But the decapitation and everything. What a beautiful piece. So. That's the first one. Second one, oh, Jim Ballant. Just a gorgeous, again, full 11 by 17 Catwoman. What a beautiful piece. 11 by 17, drawn almost edge to edge. Again, this is from 2018. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece right there. Beautiful Catwoman, folks. Just look at that. All right, so the detail on that is extraordinary. And, yes, she is wearing an outfit. You know, it almost doesn't seem like it, but uh, just a beautiful, beautiful cat woman in a super duper sexy pose with her whip. So you got those two pieces there, folks. Gorgeous, both eleven by seventeen. Yep, and uh, Carlos Mo did offer you seven hundred on the Balent. On which one? On the Jim Balent. Cat woman. Uh, the cat woman. I'll do that. That's fine. All right. So that's right. your. After saving the galaxy numerous times, I deserve a little R&R. &R. It'll wait. It'll wait. Whoa! That's Congratulations, Carlos Mo. Thanks. So there you have it, people. You can Clint make, make offers, and as long as it's a good offer, they'll take it during the round. Before we get to the recap. Always keep that in mind. And uh, Anthony, now you are going to be up with your round seven artwork. Let's get your images up here. And here we go. Here we go. Yippee. All right. Giving some love to uh, Gray Morrow, like I said earlier. I like big art and I cannot lie. They often imitate a catchphrase. Look at that. That's a big one with Dracula and Zatanna. Oh, it looks like they're doing the tango. I don't yeah, know. What it says the terror tango. Oh, maybe that horror collector out there uh, might like that Dracula and the Zatanna. She cannot thwart his advances. Oh. <laughs> Just like Sharon couldn't. <laughs> so this is big it's like 16 by 20 16 by 20 paper or two hands by all right and then for you x-men fans wow vintage vintage paul smith 1982 yes 1982 paul smith oh there it goes Yep, Michael Lovitz Michael. came in just behead, uh, just ahead. I, I was just gonna say behead. Holy man! No beheading in this. Yeah. I offer no beheadings. No just beheading. ahead of Paul. Oh Sorry. wait a minute! I do have a guy with a sword coming up. All right. Well, we can we can look at that Morrow piece one more time. Oh, oh yeah, we have some time. Okay. Uh, anybody at 800, 800, 7 B, seven B, no. Seven A. Yeah, that was. Oh, no, 7 B yeah, stole though. I thought 7 B. Which one's 7 A? 7 B stole. Oh, okay. Yeah, 7 B already. 7 B. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We still have 7 A available for uh, the Tango. Is still in the Terror Tango. Tango. Yes. Hold. Congratulations, Michael Lovitz, on that uh, wonderful Paul Smith pickup. Yes. All right. Thank you, Lovitz. We're moving over to round eight. Time. And uh, right. Anthony, yeah. Let's Me and points. Anthony didn't know what we were bringing, folks. So, uh, so that's why we have sometimes some of the similar pieces. So, uh, 
Yes, we do. Here we go. So very cool. The main character from Wizard King, Oddkin. This is from the ninth late. This is from the nineteen seventies. And and correct. This is from the Wallywood uh, fan club. Giving up beautiful. The main character, Oddkin from Wizard King, just a beautiful nineteen seventies uh, pinup with a sword. With the main character from Wizard King, and uh, so that's the. That's the first one tonight, and like Anthony's, Anthony's I believe is also from the uh, uh, the Wallywood uh, fan club. I was told that uh, they were given out to fans when they subscribed to the Wallywood fan club from the 1970s. So, but this is the main character Otkin from the from the fan club. Next piece is huge. I don't know if this is published or not. I'm selling it as unpublished by Alex Malib. Big 14 by 17, crazy pinup of this crazy. I don't know if it's a zombie creature or whatever, holding a little baby, but it's but it's a, just a huge 14 by 17, huge pinup. Again, I don't know if it's a zombie or a creature. People might know more than I, but uh, I'm telling you that it's unpublished. If it's published, it's probably worth more. I don't know, but uh, just a beautiful pinup uh, done in pen and ink and like charcoal. Just a beautiful, beautiful. 14 by 17 pinup. Uh, so uh, just a very cool piece by the great Alex Malieve. A lot of work on it, and it's very, very large. So that's that one. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? Yeah! 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 <laughs> Hothead. Hey, Anthony, you did have an offer on your 3B, the Joker Harley Quinn piece uh, for Tony Bristol for $400. Really? You had 500 on it. Mm. I'm going to hold off. All right. And uh, there was a question from Robert Carlin. Why are there four claims before it's even shown? You're, you must be behind that. Like everybody was kind of mentioning, refresh your browser. Uh, I believe there's also a live button that you click that will move your browser ahead time-wise to get you in the same time uh, frame as everyone else who's watching the show, as live as possible as these things can be. Yeah, nobody, I don't, you know, people ask, but I don't show anybody stuff beforehand. Uh, I do a preview on my Instagram, uh, but I do not show the art. I just say, hey, I have uh, art from this guy and that guy, artist-wise, but nothing is shown before we show it live here. Very true, very true. All right, Anthony, so we are starting your round eight artworks off with a Piece of art by Frank Cho. Yeah. Now, I like the butts and I cannot lie. There it is. Uh, we got a finished pencil Frank Cho for a great price. Uh, we've been selling, I've sold prelims. I've seen prelims go for, you know, double and triple that amount of money. So a very nice Boutte and a day but a very claimy Barbara beautiful, Gordon. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Too beautiful. Beautiful and beautiful. Left and right. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that. But, um, um, all right. Next piece is uh, let's pull this one up here. Mm -hmm. Nice Bill Morrison. All right. Now I've had. Hey, you to get it. Yeah! Sorry. <laughs> I got excited. Uh, yep, that was a debut. Now, let me explain this. This is uh, a note from him on the piece. Radioactive Man cover design for the TV series episode Radioactive Man. So, he, Bill Morrison was a go-to artist and art director for The Simpsons, for uh, Matt. And so, if Matt needed something drawn, Bill Morrison did it. So, this is the design art for the Radioactive Man comic in the episode where Bart uh, uh, deals with the comic itself. So it's not exactly published, but it is that design art for, for the TV show, which I think is really cool. You know what this is called? All right, here, now you know how to catch it? There you go. Oh, Jesus Christ, Rich. Here, now throw it back. No, you don't hand it back. You throw, just go out further, go out further. Further, further, further. Oh, oh no, vacation over. Now we know why Anthony does not go on vacation. He is not allowed. There's too many casualties when I go on vacation. Yeah, he's wanted in at least three or four states. 
and half of Canada. Poor Rich. I'm sure he'll collect workman's comp for that. Oh, man. And uh, just so you know, you did have an offer on your 3B from Kevin Clement for 450 So a little step up from a different... Is that the Harley? Yes, that's the Harley, the 3B. You going to take it this time or are we moving over to round now? Yeah, yeah, we can take that because uh, we're combining with uh, Kevin of Chiller Theater fame. Okay. All right, so Kevin gets the Harley. Yep. Just sold for 450 to Kevin Clement. Congratulations, Clement. Oh, Kevin. Okay. And uh, moving over to round nine for Mr. Berkey. Are we, are we doing cake break or no? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It is cake after break. round eight. It's, we're moving cake along. Break. How can you forget? Uh, well, usually you, you bring it in, and I don't have to even think about it. Right. Unless you want to do it after. Oh, you ready? No, she's ready. All right. Okay. We have to reveal the frog theme. All right. Today, th this theme, we uh, coincided with... My son's eighth grade graduation, and he's got a Yay! he's got a pet frog, and a new frog, and he loves his new pet frog. frog. Uh, you want to show your face? Maybe, maybe. All right, so a little camera shy. It's all right. Here we, no, his frog. Nice. There's a girl. Oh my gosh! Look at that. No, that because she doesn't make a lot of noise. But this frog is for you, Cameron, because you've worked so hard this year. And if you look really carefully, there's a cricket. A little cricket oh. to get sucked in by the tongues. It's on the so tongue. We had to do a dual functionality of the cake, Brady. Yes. Now, show your face just one time. One time. There it is. Boom. Look at him. Yay. <laughs> He's got daddy's chin. <laughs> yeah, he's 14 years old, graduating from eighth grade, and going into upper school next year. High school, what? Congrats okay, to him. Okay, pull the tongue. All right, so we pull the tongue. Uh, what the? Is Congratulations, Cam. We love you. Show them. Oh, my goodness. It's a money tongue. It's a money tongue. Holy <laughs> mackerel. Those are dollar bills. Those are $20 what bills. The... You got to. Okay. Hey. Pull, pull, pull. I need pull. to get one of those cakes. For every A he got, he got 20 bucks. I think that might be the. Well, it's. Stuck. Is that the deal? Don't you get more for A's? How many A's did you get? You got six A's. Oh, my goodness. Look at that tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, well, we're going to have to help the froggy with her digestion. And if you, you know, Sharon is a very, she draws very well, and this is her art. So she translated her drawing art, her freehand pencil drawings, into this. <laughs> Look at that. And it's that's modeled funny. eyeballs. No, that's your art. I, what, are I those, your what are the froggy art. legs made of? Fondant. Fondant. Wow. Fondant. It's an homage to the frog and the prince. It's a crazy, it's a crazy fun frog. I love you, Cameron. Congrats, uh, Cam. Cool. We love you. And here's some money to go out on dates with his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants a new bag. Yeah. <laughs> Just take the whole thing. And we got to figure that out. Oh, man. Well, fantastic. And Happy congratulations, Cam. Happy graduation, Cam. Eighth grade junior high is done. When I was in a kid, when we graduated, we got an attaboy from my dad, and that was it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mike Zeck, I believe this is early 80s. I've had this since 1989. Mike Zeck, early 80s, before he started uh, uh, the Craven's Last Hunt storyline. Just very cool. Uh, I could, uh, okay, we got a claim. I knew we'd get some claims on this one. This is just such a cool, cool, cool That page. is a cool page. Yep, I agree. And that one went to Scott Wingo. Congratulations, it's a very Scott. cool piece. This is very, very early in his career. Just ahead of Gectex. Next and Chris. Piece, very cool again. Uh, John Ramita. Uh, preliminary cover with Moon Knight battling, battling Hobgoblin. Believe it or not, the picture on the left was what it was drawn for. And it was a pinup inside the book. But just so you know, the, the far right picture... It's actually a comic book coming out this summer, I found out. They reused Ooh. it. So it's believe it or not, you can actually buy it off the stands this summer, the, the book to the right. It's coming out, they said, July or August this year. So they actually used for two different cover prelims by the great John Ramita Sr. And this was done in the early 90s uh, originally. But uh, drawn originally drawn for the piece on the left that you're looking at. And then it's actually another comic book cover. That's coming out this summer for Moon Knight. So it's sort of cool that you could actually get a piece of art by the great John Ramita and then pick up the comic book at your local shop uh, this summer. So very, very cool piece. Very cool. And congratulations that to Scott. Cool. That was a really nice. Woo! Wow. I think Zach might have used you as a model in that, that for that uh, drawing of his, Mike. <laughs> yeah, right. Totally weightless. <laughs> <laughs> Very, I can, very cool. Thanks, I can, Scott. I can assure you, one of these days that that uh, spider webbing is going to break. I don't know when. Not. It's a matter of time Whoa. and a little bit of effort, and like, maybe a little bit of Loki mischief. Some little villain might cut the line. Well, in the I, just, I just said Loki mischief may oh, come into no. play. Oh yeah. <laughs> go snap like Gwen's neck. Why Gwen's yeah, Gwen's crying in the other room now. Thanks a lot. I hear that. I know. Everybody can hear that across the interwebs right now. Thank you. All the right. Uh, let's move on. That was on the to best something. sound effect ever. That that affected me as a child when uh, when he catches her with his webbing and you hear you see snap. You're talking about it. They have it. Yeah, see, the I've, comic I've, book. Yeah. I've I've kept that from my daughter all this time, and you've just oh, ruined sorry. it for her. All right, so. Just trying uh, to create some memories, make uh -huh. some memories. Well, the, the uh, race is tightening here a little bit. Uh, we're now just a, a little over $1,000 separating these two. So uh, we're going to do Anthony's round nine now. And here we go. Oh, what do we got? Oh, this is nice. Oh, no. All right, we have... Uh, Oops. <laughs> it's an Alfredo Alcala, Red Sonia, yeah. painted All art right. from 1977. Alfredo Alcala. It's, it's a beautiful, <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, 1979, Red 77, Sonia. Red Sonia. This is completely uh, all Alfredo color art. And uh, I just, I just like it. She's just kind of hanging out. It's kind of like a little posy pose, modeling her her uh, metal bikini and uh, I like it. She's not thinking about decapitating anybody or, you know. Thank goodness. It's just hanging out, beautiful red hair. All right. And now oh. it's your 9B artwork, your Nick Cardi. 9B. Here we go, 9B. B. This is awesome. I like little art and I cannot lie. Now this is a set of the Nick Cardi sketchograph cards. Like collectible cards. And it is on the Sketch SketchFX. SketchFX card paper. And with a seal on each top loader. So we have a set of Are they totally Donna Troy? They're totally Yep. Kid Flash. Wow. Uh, let me just get through these. Uh, we have the classic Aquaman and Batman and Robin. There you have it. That's the five. Yep. So these are hard to come by, guys. The, so the whole set all together. Uh, Plain yeah. 10A. They're awesome. That was, yeah. that was a, that was a fail. Well, but, they're quick, unless he's fail. not Stradamus. <laughs> well, he didn't have a name in there. That was just a, a, a uh, reflex. That's okay, Action. Scott. You might want my 10A. You never know. So get ready. 
<laughs> yeah, Scott, let's clarify. If you did want something, let us know. No, he didn't. He already said fail. Oh, no, no, no. oh, okay. Yes, he was just prepping his comment window like everybody does for I said, this show. I said, all right. Yeah, I finally had to learn how to bid on something on Monday. I did, you know, I tried to claim some stuff and yeah, no, yeah, but yeah, you did feel. That's all right. Uh, now we're moving over to Mike's round 10 artwork. You 1970s X-Men collectors, get ready, you 1970s X-Men collectors. Yeah. This is 1970. This is one of probably one of the earliest Wolverine drawings ever by the great Dave Cockrum. Cyclops battling Wolverine, and I believe this is from the 1970s. That is Dave Cockrum's 1970s signature. I've, I've had several of his 1970s drawings, and that's the exact signature. So Cyclops bailing Wolverine. I mean, come on. Wolverine didn't even first appear until, rough, what is it, 1975. So uh, uh, this is one of the earliest Wolverines by the by the by by Dave Cockrum, the guy that drew the interiors to his first ever uh, giant size X-Men 1. So Cyclops bailing Wolverine. And this is larger, 10 and 10.4 by 13.8. Very, very cool. Uh, it's penciled and ink. You see they made changes, so it's penciled and ink. Very, very cool early, and it's Cyclops battling Wolverine, folks. What a great piece. Uh, this is going to sell. Uh, okay, next piece here. This is a great – check this out by Bernie Wrightson. I found out yesterday later it has a sign, TT09. I found out this is from The Thing. Bernie Wright, so they were going to do a thing, a thing movie in 09. These were his storyboards. Remember the monsters, the monsters uh, uh, combined with the people. So check this out. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, Bernie Wright's in from 2009 from the a thing storyboard. Beautiful, beautiful piece. 11 by 14 from the thing movie that never got done. And, and one of the greatest scenes from the movie. Thanks. Claim. And that, that last one was claimed by Dave Kopecki, and you did get uh, you, let's see, you did get an offer uh, from Jason on the Cockrum at fifteen hundred. Uh, if he meets me in the middle at seventeen, I'll do it. And Mike also offered a thousand on this. If he meets me in the middle, anybody meets me in the middle at twelve fifty, I'll do twelve fifty on that and fifteen on that. So. Hey, you big bully. Stop kicking sand in my face. I'm going to have to get even with him. Wow, it didn't take Atlas that long to make these muscles that fully better. Watch out now. I got Punch nothing to out. say. Punch him out. Mm. I'm sorry, I couldn't do the, the uh, I couldn't do the whole thing. I didn't have enough time to kind of flesh that whole concept out. But I'll be the bully. Make yeah, you keep sand in your face and get punched out. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, I got an offer somewhere. Where would it go? Well, there's a little bit. There's a, several offers that are floating around there. I see yeah. that Ferrucci is offering twelve hundred dollars yeah. on the Ramita. Tell Nick, I'll do the twelve hundred on the Moon Knight. So that's Nick's. So Nick got the round nine B for twelve hundred dollars. Congratulations to Nick. And just trying to see what the other ones were. I know that many things flew by there, so I'm scrolling back up. Just get to back to Anthony too, yeah. Uh, uh, they offered 15. I'll do 16 on this. So I know we should wait for the recap. I figured it'll make the recap. First person says 16. I'll do 16 on that just to keep things flowing. But and if Anthony some... had some offers, you could check with Anthony. Well, so that's what I was just asking. Oh, there so it is. I am scrolling through trying to see where there was an offer. but um... uh, Nick offered 850 on the Cardi cards. Is that right? Yeah, and the well, and your yeah, and your nine B the Cardi cards. He offered eight fifty. Uh, I got to hold off right now, Nick. Sorry. Uh, oh, somebody asked. This is just drawn on regular art paper. Uh, you know, it's a little bit yellowed, but uh, you know, you see what it is. So it is from the nineteen seventies again, penciled and ink. As I know, it is on paper. So I can almost smell the sea in the sand. <laughs> just two short uh. days away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just, so. uh, just to get it out there, the lowest I can do is a thousand dollars on the Cardi cards. All right. So you're changing your nine B down to one thousand dollars as your low watermark. All right. By the way, Bill, we did have a claim on the cockroach for sixteen. 
I see that Romaine picked that one up. That was your 10A artwork for $1,600 to Romaine Gurlier. Congratulations, Romaine. Yep, sorry, Jason. It happens. Yeah. There will be, there will be others as usual. I All have right. more, I have great stuff for the rest of the night, and so does Anthony. So, and they are stocking up for the show that we will have in two weeks as well. Two so, weeks from tonight is going to be a doozy show, folks. Yes, it will. All right, I'm so ready. let's do it remotely. Come on, Bill, you're going to miss us. <laughs> yes, I will miss everyone, the two of you, and everyone in the audience. So let's uh, let's get over to your round ten artworks here, Anthony. And let's get your first one on the screen. Here we go. Charles Vess. Oh, the Vess. Yes, very, very nice. Again, from this from this uh, original owner, 1985, Charles Vess. He's got a big, long sword in his hand. He's about ready to do some decapitation. What's he going to some, do? Some decapitation. With the sword, he's going to do Yeah, it. look at that. That is just beautiful of Elric. And the, uh, the sword, let's see, it's Charles. about nine, nine by 12 paper, uh, elegant, beautiful piece, a uh, very understated and just pops. With I movement. love it. It's got movement. It's yeah. And that sword's going to move onto somebody's neck and cut their head off. No. Yeah. All right. What else? You got the Gray Morrow. Oh, the Gray Morrow. Batman, the Batmobile. Well, give him some love to Gray Morrow. Look at all this. This is a very complex. Uh, I think I lost something on the back. Anyway, very, uh, you know, usually he did some single figures, but this is Catwoman, and she's got some nakedness on the top, and then that classic costume, and, uh, you know, from her early appearance and an early form of uh, the Batmobile, and Batman with a gun. Ooh, Batman's got a gun. And that is the 16 by 20 cardboard. Cardboard. Hey, boss man, what's up? I thought you were on vacation. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Now I'm on vacation. That's more like it. Get back to work. <laughs> Man, you're 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 very uh, strict with your employees. I'm a taskmaster, aren't I? Yeah, I just uh, drive drive them. That's the Anthony we know and love. All well, right. At least, uh, at least Rich has a sense of humor and can play along. You know. Thank you, Rich, for playing. If you're yes. watching, he wasn't really hurt. He didn't get run over. Um, all right, so we're moving on to round 11. We got two more rounds to go, as everybody knows. Oh boy, we get so this is going to oh be Mike's, Mike's 11A, and I know he's got a lot of splaining to do on this one because uh, there's get ready, Frank two Miller pieces. Fans, get ready, two, two pieces as part of his first one here. So here we go. Okay, this is all Frank Miller pencils and inks sketch cover, Frank Miller pencils and inks, and with it, after Joe Rubenstein. Uh, finished it all. So you get both pieces. You got the Frank Miller pencil and ink Daredevil sketch cover. He penciled and inked it. You can see it up close. That's all. This is all Miller. Pencils and inks. All Miller. And then with it, Joe Rubenstein had light boxed it and he finished the whole piece on a separate board. It even says Rubenstein after Miller. So you get both, both pieces. I thought that's a really cool piece. All Miller and all Rubenstein. So that's that piece there. All right. And beautiful, your next beautiful, one. beautiful pieces. They, they'll frame perfectly together. Last piece, very cool. John Romita did a poster in 1978, an awesome Hulk poster. And this is the preliminary to the Hulk poster. And it's done larger, 10 by 14. But, uh, but uh, it's to a published 1978 Marvel poster. Hulk smash. I get a kick out of top. They even say, use the logo on Hulk Annual 6. And it actually is the logo for Hulk Annual 6, Ramita Drew. So the editor reminded Ramita, do the logo from Hulk Annual 6 from 1977. But if Bill shows it again, it's actually 
Uh, I had to look online, and sure enough, I knew. I go, I've seen this before, and it is the published 1978 Marvel poster. So, uh, so we got the Ramita poster and the Frank Miller Daredevil Electra with the Joe Rubenstein. All you get them all the set. So that's all of them. Very nice. Very nice for both of them. Ooh. Hulk wants a battle harpy, not herpes. Uh. Uh, there's a lot of laughter in the production studio this evening. <laughs> uh, you no did have sale. A no sale, Hulk. Bah! No sale. And, and uh, Nick Ferrucci did offer you a combo deal on your 9B and 10B. Uh, at eighteen hundred dollars, you had to, effectively you're at twenty two fifty on those, and he was offering you at eighteen hundred dollars for the pair. How about two even, Nick? Two even on those. Uh, we'll see what we'll see if, if he chimes in or not. But we've, we've still got some time before we get to the recap. <laughs> and there were, All right. those were bricks that he was breaking in through. Right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot bricks. Hulk bricks. Hulk bricks. Oh. Yeah, we got Hulk bricks. Hulk I forgot to mention that. Sorry about Lots that. Lots of bricks. Bring the bricks. Man, the bricks make everything more valuable and fun. All right, Anthony, you're around 11 Artworks. Here we go. This is the Mike right. McCone, and Mark McKenna. Yeah, Mark McCone. <laughs> Mike McCone. Hello, Anthony. Yeah, yeah. Now, this, what right, the? So this. <laughs> that was not me. This is a, a cover quality commission that he did. Uh, looks like the Illuminati. I know I saw a print out there. I didn't see the actual cover. I was looking around to see if this was a cover. But uh, maybe Tatiana would know. Uh, but uh, we have the Mike McCone. It looks like beautiful uh, cover quality commission. Uh, the uh, with the background figure, the looming background figure, Mike McCone. I mean, it should be. Seems like it should be a uh, a cover. A cover because it was penciled and inked. All right. So the other one, this came out of that sketch collection I, again. Now this is a this is kind of rare, rare. Wendy Peeney, colored pencil commission, 1980. Again, from the original uh, commissioner, commissioner, guy who commissioned her at a show. Uh, <laughs> this one's a nice, rare piece from 1980. This looks out of a wood nymph fairy hat I with a cool hat. This in 1980. Yeah. On the cover of Two Fisted Tales. How appropriate. What's that? Two Fisted? That's You're Two Fisted. Two Fisted. <laughs> two -fisted. Hey, I was, I was uh, firing blanks this afternoon, everybody, while I was pulling together some memes. I'm sorry. I'll do better when I come back. I, I'm a little tired. <laughs> I, I don't know. Two Fisted Tales came up on a Google search I was doing, so I was just like, I could be holding two tankards. So anyways, all right, round. Hey, well, before you show the piece, I want people, it's sort of funny. Just remember this pose, all right? Oh, okay, boy. now show the piece. The eyes, I can't, the eyes. I can't, I can't forget that one. <laughs> all right, Mike, here we go. Folks, Jack Kirby. This is pencil and ink by Jack Kirby, 1968. What this is is, Jack Kirby did a bunch of drawings. This was for the Marvel Mania cover border art where they had all the heroes and villains on the corners of the art. Um, this is one of the unpublished. Uh, Ulick, it even has the name of who he was supposed to send it to back in the day. But uh, Ulick first appeared in 1967 in Hulk 137. This is drawn one year later. Just beautiful, but it's penciled and inked by Jack Kirby. And it was to be on the Marvel Mania border art that they gave out, but this one was not used. I had a board with six six of them years ago, uh, and three were used and three were, three were unused. But uh, this is the last one I ever have left, but it's Ulick, a year after his creation. So that one is there. 
And then the last piece of the night, folks, very cool. Bob Layton, Pencil Nicks. This was to be the cover to Amazing Spider-Man 262. Uh, Bob did it uh, and, and sent it in to Marvel. And then at the very end, they decided to do an actual photograph cover. So they did a photograph cover, which Bill will show again. So this is the art, uh, uh, the, the 262. Then they scrapped it, but they instead they used a photo of the of the actual cover. Uh, but this was actually the line art that they created the photo cover from. So Amazing yeah, Spider-Man so 262 unused cover. I say thee nay, Hulk. You are a lightweight, sir. You can't handle your mead like the God of Thunder. Uh, is it cologne time yet? Uh. Greenbeard can't handle his liquor. So very cool. Pencils and inks by Kirby. This is a big deal, folks. For only a couple grand. I mean, where are you going to get Jack Kirby pencils and inks? A year after go. he was thought up. A year after he was in the book. So very cool. The only place we're going to get it is right here this evening. Yep, tonight. Hey, tonight. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, uh, Anthony, round 12 for you, and then we will enter the recap. So, here we go. Let's get the awesome round. recap Ragnarok round. Ah. And, okay, guys. <laughs> this is a framed piece uh, oh, well, by, the ring, by the it's Ring Girl 1992. Uh, the person I got it from said he got it from Ringo back in the day. And that it was his self uh, portrait of him as Doc Savage because he was doing some Doc Savage stuff. So this is uh, a nice big 11, yeah, 11 by mm, 17. 11 by what 17 are awesome. matted, framed, and glass. We send these out really well. And remember, yeah. anybody that is feeling claimy on the Anthony's comic book art will get a free portfolio or t shirt. I have t-shirts in again. So if you tell me your size or if I owe you a t-shirt, let me know. 1992, what you gonna do? Okay, so I, I sent this over to a friend of mine that works at uh, Continuity. Uh, uh, and uh, he said this is from 1973. And this was a study that Neil did for the Kill Raven uh, job that he was gonna do with Roy Thomas. But Roy uh, didn't. Uh, finished writing the thing, so Neil didn't didn't uh, do the art. Uh, so it's an unpublished uh, figure study, probably the from the splash page. Maybe it was going to be a splash page from 1973. 1973 Neil Adams pencil art, prime time. Doesn't get any better than this. Neil Adams, come on. Yeah. Anthony, what? I need a lift cage. Oh my god! Well, fix it. Well, who ordered it first? Get a lift cage truck. Let me see this. I look great. <laughs> oh, you got to move your van too. Oh my god! <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> Vacation is over. Get back to work. Oh, there you go. What are you gonna do? What can I say? We are moving into the recap. There is no Ragnarok recap. Uh, what the I hell love is your hat. Yeah, you're yeah. there. You're there. I was going to Bill, before you go to uh, Stephen Crawford, if you meet me in the middle at 700, the 7A is yours for 700. Before we go to the cap, if you want it, just say yes, and we won't have to do it in the recap, the 7A. And this is on Bristol board. It doesn't say Marvel or DC, and that's the old-timey signature of the Neil of the oh, Adams. Oh, that's so priceless. That's 11 by 17 uh, Bristol board. Yes. Book issue, you know, it says. All right, guys. I'm not seeing a, seeing anybody accept the offer, so we're going to start the recap. Okay. And, Mike, you get to lead us off as okay. always for this evening. So we're going to start you off with your 1B artwork here. Let's get all the way back here to cue that one up. 1980s, Brent Anderson. Uh, we'll do a uh, uh, four and a quarter for today. Very cool. Nightcrawler by Brent it's Anderson. Crotch shot. Very, very cool. Four and a quarter. So right there. Uh, so that's the first one there. Four and a quarter. Anybody four and a quarter, just put it on the in the comment section, and it's yours. Brent Anderson, great Batman, great X-Men artist in the 
in the 80s, very cool night crawler with the wall and the moon in the background, jumping over a fence. Very, very cool. So that's the, yes. that's the first one. Uh, the second one, the Simon Bisley. Uh, we'll do 500. The decapitation pinup with a sexy babe and Conan. And I believe this is a this is a prelim to something published. But very cool sign dated uh, 500. We'll do 500 on this one. Very, very cool, Simon Bisley. It's a big 12 by 16 inch edge to edge. Beautiful, beautiful piece there, folks. 12 by 16. Beautiful, beautiful piece there. Uh, if you want, just put it in the comment section and it's yours. Yep, the first beheading of the evening. The One first last beheading time. is right. All right, now we're moving over to your 3A artwork. Uh, you we'll this. do five, uh, 450. What was 2B? Uh, what was 2B? Oh, that, was, that was uh, uh, your Bisley. Uh, 2B was the Bisley? You know what? Yes. Uh, uh, Scott, if you can make it 475, I'll do 475. Because coming down one and a quarter. So let me know on that one. Just say yay or nay. Uh, the Atkins. I'm sorry. Yeah, 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Beautiful. And you get all the great notes on the back and his side. And he tells you which issues of Daredevil he worked on. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. So uh, that's the one. Okay. Uh, the Bisley is sold. sold and uh, 500 bucks. Matter of fact, it's 475. Seems to be lucky. I'll go 475 on this one too tonight. Beautiful from 2008 by the great Dan Adkins. And it's done on artboard too. It's not on paper. It's done on artboard. Okay, moving to your wrong uh, piece. Yeah, that's not the uh, right one at all. Yeah. We are well. The Andrew Robinson should be the one that we're looking right, at Andrew now. Andrew Robinson, three B. Uh, uh, the three B. I had six hundred on it. I will do five hundred. Beautiful. This is right when the movie, right before the movie came out, I believe, 2015. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. 11 by 15.2, 500 bucks. All Andrew Robinson. Penciled, inked, marker, and hand-colored marker. Beautiful for the Ant-Man movie by the great Andrew Robinson. And you know what? Since I said it on the last one, I'll do 475, which seems to be lucky today. 475. So that's 475. Daredevil is 475. These are the only two that I haven't sold so far. So 475 each, folks, on those. All right. And Chris Spanabel yells claim, but didn't say which, which one, one you which one, Chris? The three A or the three B, Chris. He's yelled it twice. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess he's talking about or the Robinson. You're claiming both. I... You're claiming both? <laughs> ah, claim, claim, double claim. Ant Man, yes, there we go. That was the one I thought he was going oh, after. Not. So oh oh ant, okay, ant man, okay, yep. 475. So yes. that's yours for 475. 475 to Chris Spanabel. Well, right now, three. the only one that hasn't sold is the Daredevil. Okay. All right. And so now we're going over to your 4 oh, We got the Jim Silky. I'll go to 500 on this. This is gorgeous. And it's larger. She's It's 12.4 inches tall. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Betty Page by the great Jim Silky. This is, this is 26 years old, folks. And it's signed and dated. By the great, 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 great. Uh, Jim Silky. Jim Silky. So that's that one. So just a cool piece. Matter of fact, 475, just like the other ones. 475. All right. Uh, Chris Spanabel did offer you $400 for the Dan Adkins Daredevil. You know, oh, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I think I already had a claim. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. You had, uh, you had, a, you had a claim on the 4A to see... For is 4A the Daredevil? No, 4A or, is the Jim Silky. Silky. Okay, okay, the Silky sold for 475. I'll I'll do that. Right, that claim for 475. Right. Okay. But, right. Chris, that one, Dad, Chris offered 400 for the Daredevil. 400 for the Daredevil. Well, what what did Michelle offer? Because I had what on it, 475, or what I have on it? Listen, hey, the. The Silky was claimed by C for Scotty. Oh, okay. Okay. Michelle's coming in a little late. You've got oh, an offer yeah, for four hundred. You got an offer for four hundred on the Chris Spanavel, uh, from Chris Spanavel for the the Dan Adkins D. Yeah. D uh, Chris, Chris has bought a lot from me in the past. So I'll do the four hundred for him. That's fine. Chris, it's yours, buddy. All right. So four hundred dollars now on, was sold for the three A artwork to Chris Spanavel. Congratulations, Chris. 
Now uh, the next artwork is going to be your 4B artwork. Yeah, again, this is okay. Uh, I have 600 on it. I'll do 500. Again, this is Baylit, Baylit, and Conan battling. And I just think almost cooler than the front is all the great John Basema things to do in my life: quit smoking, exercise, food, vitamins, recreation, empty the room, secondary, a pool, studio, clean porch. Five hundred dollars. And you get Conan and Baylit. This is full size, folks. Eleven and a half by seventeen. Look at that shot of Baylit. It's Conan and Baylit battling. Five hundred bucks. Just a great, great page. It's public. The finished piece is published. I just don't know the issue. So, uh, five hundred bucks on that. And you know what? The heck with it. Since I've done a roll, four seventy-five. What the heck? Anybody wow. first one to four seventy-five gets it. Just like the other ones, four seventy-five. All right, four seventy-five for your four B artwork from Busema. Whoever says now, four seventy-five gets it. Now we're on to your five B artwork, and you were at eight hundred dollars. Five B. Hold on, I have to scroll too for my little notes. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. It's on the screen, okay. Mike. Okay, this is one of the earliest. Uh, I will do seven hundred on it. I think it'll sell if I put it on the website. This is one of his earliest drawings ever from 1974. This is two months after he took over the title. Very, very, very cool piece. Uh, 700 bucks. Very cool piece from 1974. Werewolf by Night by the great Don Perlin. Just two months after he took over the title in 74. All right, Mike, you did have two offers at $400 for the Busema. Busema? Uh, I'll tell you what, the first 450 that agrees to it gets it. The first 450. All right, so you've got your 4B at 450. You've dropped the Don per Perlin Werewolf by Night, your 5B artwork, $700. So uh, now. Uh, yeah, I'll, matter of fact, I'll go 675 uh, while I'm on my recap. If somebody agrees to 675 on 5B, they get it for 675. Probably the first ever drawing outside of the comic book. Yep. Don Pearl never did of Werewolf by Night. So very good. We are on to six A now. You were at eight hundred dollars. I have eight hundred on it. I'll do seven hundred on it. You get three Sergio drawings. You get Marie Seven drawing and sixteen signatures of greats. This is this is this entire piece was from nineteen seventy four. Barry Smith, Neil Adams, Roy Thomas, Rich Buckter, Archie Goodwin, Don Pearl, and Al Milgram, Larry Hama, Bob Kane. Sal Amendola, Bob Brown, Marie Severin, Ralph Reese, Roy Thomas. 16 signatures and four drawings. 700. All right. And I just wanted to point out that Romaine Verlier did claim the 4B oh, artwork for $450. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So you are at 675 for your 5B. And you are at 8 really and and, and what were you at on the uh, 6A, on the signatures? I'm sorry. It was 700? Uh, uh, or were you uh, doing 675? I'll go to 675. All right. Uh, yeah. So 675 for your 5 and your 6A. Do. Yep. All right. So moving on to your 6B artwork, your Bob Layton. You were at $800. Uh, 800 I'll go 700 bucks on it. Very, this is on 11 by 17 board, folks. Just a very cool. And it's 10 years old. You know what? The 75 seemed to be working for me. I'll do 675. So very cool. Pencil ink. It's on 11 by 17 board, signed and dated. It's 10 years old. Beautiful Iron Man by the preeminent Iron Man. And it's done on Marvel cover stock board. 675. Very cool Iron Man by the great Bob Layton. All right. So 675s are wild on your last three artworks yes. that are still unsold. We're moving on to your 7A artwork. The, I think I, I had an offer on this one earlier, uh, but I'll, I'll do 700. Uh, the first 700 gets it. So uh, very, very cool piece done edge to edge on 17 by 11 board. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece in homage to Barry Smith. It even says after Barry Smith. And this is done in 09. This is 12 years old, 700 bucks. Uh, Stephen Crawford. Steve, go to, go to my lucky 675 and it's yours. 675 and a year. My 675s are wild. All right, 675 is the <laughs> final ask on this one from Mike, and it is the final beheading that we've got. And it looks like uh, JKZA, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, has picked it up at 675. Yes, Jake. 
JKZA. All right, congratulations to Jay on your 7 you, artwork at 675. Now we're moving over to your 8A artwork. This was the Wallywood, and it's $900. So you know, you're going to think I'm not saying this just for tonight. I'm going to go 675 just to keep, keep things moving. The 675s are lucky. I had 900. I'm going to go to 675 because the last three or four pieces have sold for the 675. So 675. This is Oddkin from Wizard King, the main character. This is in the 1970s, and it was done for the Wallywood fan club giving out. And it's all drawn and signed Wallywood, 675 Oddkin. All right, 675. So all fully drawn, all wood. All right, now we're moving over to 8B. This was the Alex Maliev. 8B. Like I said, I don't know if this is published or not. It's, it's 14 by 7. It's huge. I'm going to go down to 800. 800 on this one. I'll come to come down 200 because it might be published. It's the great Alex Maleev. It's very large. I don't know what this is to, but I don't know if he's a zombie creature holding a little baby, but it's a big 14 by 17 piece. But the great Alex Maleev, I'll go down to 800 on this one. So very, very, very cool piece. All right, 800 on that one. And somebody pointed out earlier, you wouldn't want to hang that in the baby's room. So <laughs> well, moving. the creature could be saving the baby, so who knows? Uh, anything is possible in today's... Okay, uh, so. the great Frank Miller. I'm going to go uh, tonight, 2,000. I'm going to just do 2,000. This is, this is uh, Frank Miller pencils and inks. He penciled and inked it. And you get the, the Joe Rubenstein fully finished. I mean, framed together. These are perfect. So 2000 for the pair. You got them both. Just a great, great, great piece. Frank Miller, pencils and inks. And then the fully Joe Rubenstein full inked in homage to the Frank Miller. But these definitely go great together. Frame these things together. It'll be looking really, really awesome. So 2000 for the set. All right. Now moving over to your 11B artwork. That was the John Romita Sr. Incredible. And this is large. I'll come down to 2000 on this. This is the pencils for the published John Romita 1978 Hulk poster. And, of course, there's the published poster there. Bill is showing. Very cool. And I, I, I get a kick out of it how they said use the I, – I think it's a funny anecdote. Use the logo to Hulk Annual 6, and that is the Hulk Annual 6. And here on the published, they ended up going back to the original logo for it, which I think is sort of sort of a funny story behind story. But it's large, 10 by 14, the great John Ramita, 2,000 for that. So, uh, Jason, if you can go to, you know what, just to, I want to get more sales. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you at 1,800. That's a $600 discount. If you go to 18, Jason, I'll do the 18. And, again, this is larger. This ain't like his little 8 by 10 uh, uh, prelims. This is 10 by 14. So it's really beautiful. So if you can go to 18, I'll do 18 on that. All right, now we're twelve A. This was your Kirby. You were uh, twenty five dollars. You know uh, I'll go twenty one hundred. This is nineteen sixty eight, penciled and inked by Jack Kirby for the Marvel Mania cover border that he did with all. The, they had to choose which heroes and villains, and they ended up not using this one, but it was still drawn by Jack in nineteen sixty eight, just a year after Ulick's first appearance in Thor one thirty seven. He appears in Thor 137 in 1967, and he thought enough of him because this is a Jack Kirby creation, too. So, uh, matter of fact, I'll go 2000 for tonight only. 2000 for the Jack Kirby. Mike, you are an encyclopedia yeah. of information. Well, just on that. And I saw, uh, if Jay said nothing, I'll sell this for the 1800 to Nick. If Jason... Uh, Nick is being gracious, but at 1800 I'll sell that to Jason or Nick, whoever gets it. 11B. What's 11B? Well, that's, yeah, the, he's trying, that's the, the John Ramita Sr. that Chuck oh, is that's trying. Right. Yeah, no, it's already, yeah, it's already sold to the other guys. What did I, what did I? I You're, you were, you have an 1800, it's going to go to Nick if, uh, and Jason's saying it's all to Nick. Yes, at 1800. On okay. your eleven, on your eleven B. Oh, okay, eleven uh, B. Yep. Let's see. Somebody's offering. Somebody offered nineteen hundred for the Daredevil. 
Uh, no, they were they were trying to claim it. No, the, Chuck the, Tim, right there, eleven B. I know, but that's not the Daredevil. They were trying to claim your the one that's on the screen right now for nineteen hundred. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought no, eleven B is the Miller though. Eleven B is what's on the uh, is what's on the oh, screen. Oh, I'm right. sorry. That's right. That's right. My uh, my bad on that one for I think. Okay. Yep. So he was okay, offering. So that's already claimed. Right. It was claimed for eighteen hundred, and uh, Chuck, you just came in late. You're I mean, you're offering the hundred dollars more, but we had already lowered the price, and Nick had already claimed it about uh, forty five right. seconds before you made that claim. So you got to you got to be quick and get ahead of those. So, uh, and we've got one more piece to look at. That's right, the right. Mike McCone. And uh, uh, tonight yes. I'll do I'll knock off five hundred dollars. This is the only just so you know, folks, this is the only artwork to the cover to Amazing 262. There's no other because I used a photograph cover. So uh, I'll do sixty three hundred for this. Nick, if you can go to eighteen hundred on the Miller, I'll do eighteen hundred on the Miller for you. So eighteen eighteen. So uh uh, this one I'll knock off 360, 300 for the uh, for the amazing 262 Spider-Man cover. You're never going to get an 80 Spider-Man, even though it's unused. You're never going to get an 80 Spider-Man cover for that kind of price, folks. Unpublished or not from that era. So 6,300 for that. Uh, Nick, if you can do 1,800, you get the you get the you offer 35 for the set, you get them for 36. So 1,800 to Nick or anybody else that wants this for 1,800. All right. Well, you, you managed to sell uh, at least double your city, the yeah. total sales did, there. Did so this one good. sell? Did the Brent Anderson sell? It did not. You were at four twenty-five on that one. So, wow! Surprised. I'll do four hundred on it if somebody wants it. Four hundred nineteen eighties Nightcrawler. Four hundred if somebody wants it. All right. So now we're going to get over to Anthony and his recap. Yay! And his hat. <laughs> Thanks, I'm not everybody. sure I like this hat. Yes, very good, very good. And and again, yep. So let's, uh, Anthony. We actually have to go all the way back to your first artwork, your one A artwork here. So here we go. Bob Broderick, sort of a Captain America and World War II action pose. I could do. You're let's three, cut to the chase at three hundred. Three hundred. And how about three hundred? Well, two seventy-five. Let's go two seventy-five. Wow. What else? Two seventy-five. Well, seventy-five. Well, we're not there yet. Well, but that. Uh, this All is right, Red Bullet Comics wants it at two seventy-five. That's yep. awesome. Yep, Red Bullet Comics is picking that one up for two seventy-five from Anthony. You did get an offer early from your uh, from Rich at twenty-five hundred for that uh, Neil Adams piece at the end. Holding also, off until we get to it. That's yep. just not enough. Yep, that is what I was thinking as well. All right, your next artwork is the 4B Super Friends. Oh, oh yeah, we had some claimy claims in between, and then we have the Super Friends. Now, this is like a double, uh, double-sized double animation board uh, for a pan and scan shot from, from all the heroes. Um, you know, a really nice uh, uh, price on this would be the 400. So let's do the 400 for the Super Friends. I mean, there's not too many, uh, you know, pencil cell drawings that you could put on your wall, but this is definitely one of them. You nice big Apache, Robin. Apache Chief, Robin, Batman and Robin, and Flash. You know, Super Friends, uh, Tommy Sarah says, looks like Daryl O'Neill. Year. Year. It's like you know, the ch it looks like Challenge of the Super Friends, the later one where Apache Chief was in it. It's got. Yeah, I think uh, that's mid seventies. Yeah, well, well, mid late seventies. I would go. It's right. it's got episode uh, one twenty eight dash scene nine. All right. All right. So you had four hundred dollars on that one, and Tommy yeah, would know he, he's a big yep. animation art collector. So this next piece is your five B artwork by Mike Galuta. You were at six hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, this is really pretty. Uh, maybe I was a little high on it, but I, I like this. Uh, I liked her a lot. How about uh, the four seventy five? Four seventy five. How about four seventy five? Four seventy five on the, uh, on the how about, yeah, yeah. How about four fifty? See the detail. Four fifty for the beautiful Kaluta. I'll go four fifty. That's a good deal. I just like that. I can put that on my wall and look at that every day. I really could. I really like that one. 
All right, four, uh, four and a quarter, four, uh, four hundred if you want to claim it. All right, you heard it here. Four hundred dollars on his five B if you want to claim it before the show is over. We're moving over to your six A artwork, the Wally right, Wood. How about six seventy five is the theme of the night. Six seventy five for a little wood nymph uh, from Odkins. I think that she's from Odkins too, right? Right. Uh huh. I was told that Wally Wood did four different drawings. And this girl, the nymph, and and Odkin were two of the four that he would send out to fans in the in the Wallywood club kit. Yes. Yeah, uh, I I I, uh, I I agree. He he would uh, he would do these to, to all of his fans. And now uh, let's straighten out this Kaluta. You got offered yeah. four hundred. Yeah, it's kind of a convoluted moment here because Brian Peck says he's oh. claiming the Voluta at 500, but of course it was at 400. So he said 400. And then Tony Brischler said he meant to say four, five B, even though he said four B initially. Uh, I mean, so in theory, uh, I mean, I, I'm, you know what, Anthony, I'm going to throw this one on you. I mean, I'm the referee. It, technically Brian Peck claimed it properly. Uh, you know, after he fixed his price there, and no, Tony, well, Tony claimed 4B first because, uh, but he was, you know, that was uh, uh, a piece that was still available. My producer's chatting in my ear about that, but uh, 4B was open and it was at 400. So when he said claim 4B, I actually checked off the 4B artwork and wrote it down as his name. And then he switched Which it to- Which one's 4B? Oh, that's the Super Friends? Right, but he didn't claim that. That's the whole point. Tony meant to claim 5B, but he typed 4B and you were you were at 400 on 4B. So oh, I- okay. All right. So, so, so all I'm saying is, you make the call. Oh, you, well, well, well I, it looks like Tony was first. He just accidentally said four B instead of five B, right? Okay. So, all right. Brian says, let him have it. So we'll let Brian uh, be the judge, and that one because that's tough. That's tough because, like I said, I've I've got a, I I had written out the four B since it was available at four hundred to that. But we're going to switch it to four, the five B to Tony, and thank you, Brian, for being so generous. Yeah, thank you, Brian. I'll try to take care of you on the next order. Just let me know if once, okay? All right. So Tony Bischler gets the the nice Kaluta, very frameable, very wall capable, very pretty Kaluta. And then okay. we have the Wally Wood that's still available. That's still available at six seventy five. So that one's still out there. And yeah. Uh, 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 all right, so uh, let's put that at six fifty uh, going forward. All right, and so then we have the six B Scott, Scott Hanna. Hanna. Yep. Yeah, Scott Hanna. That's really pretty at seven hundred, guys. It's uh, Spidey MJ with the big green eyes. I love beautiful girls with big green eyes. And I love big lie. green eyes, and I cannot lie. <laughs> no, we don't want to take vacation. We don't need no stick of vacation. Ah, oh, yes, we right. do. <laughs> so, all right. So, let's do 675. 675 <laughs> on the Hannah. Scott Hannah. All right. Yeah. All right. So, your 6B has changed to 675. Or 650 it's... going forward. 650 is fine. All right. So, you're at 650 and your 6A and your 6B. We're moving over to your 7A. That's the Gray Morrow. You're at 850. Yeah, the Gray Morrow Tango. Now, I need any horror table. guys out there, because that's the Dracula and the Zatanna. Ooh, she's got the fishnets, sort of. Oh, she lost her hat. Oh, no. All right, so how about... Uh, oh, she's doing the tango. All right, I'll get this in line uh, with uh, the 700. All right, so you're Seven, 700. Uh, All right. On your 7A. 700 on your 7A, 650 That's on your 6A. That's a big piece of art. All right. Uh, Can't lie. A hall of, what, what? And it's Dracula. Yeah, 675 going forward, 675. All right, 675 it is. So, okay, moving on to your 8A artwork. That was the Frank Cho piece. You were at $1,200. Yep. What All can you right. do on this one? I think I got, uh, let's go, uh, the butt, the butt. Oh, my gosh, I had to. I was gonna say that. 500 a cheek. <laughs> I'm gonna be cheeky and go a thousand on this one. Going to a thousand. All right. Going to a thousand on Barbara Gordon. Beautiful Barbara Gordon on the perch on the laptop. You know, 
he's got it in his riding. He has fifteen hundred on the back, so he sold this originally for fifteen hundred dollars. Cool. All right, one thou. Yeah, and you're at one thousand on it. That's a fair price on that one. So we're going to your eight B artwork now, and that. All right, this is the Bill Morrison well Radioactive Man. This is a, a fully finished piece. And uh, I'll go, uh, I think, uh, let's go under a thou. Let's go 950. But this is like Simpsons. Yeah, this is, you know, this was, went out as, you know, Bart going to the comic book store and getting Radioactive Man number one and the whole, the whole works. So this is, this is really cool. I like this piece a lot. So Radioactive Man, all right. Radioactive Man. What did I say last? 950? Yeah, you were 950. Okay, 900 going forward if anybody wants it till the end of the show. Wow. Now we've got your Alcala piece. Yep, and I found it. <laughs> Yay! You're at 1,200. What's we your can best do 1,000 on this one. 1,000 on this beautiful Alcala piece. Look at that. Look at her. She's so pretty. I like that one. All right. Let's get this under a thousand at nine fifty. <coughs> you don't see too many uh, Alfredo Alcala fully finished color pieces like this, right? The key Mike? is the key is Anthony too. This is nineteen seventy. This was when he was drawing Savage Sort at its peak with John Basema. So that's a really key piece. Uh, Ronald Shepard wants to do time payments on the Scott Hanna. We can do that. We can accommodate you. Yay! Uh, what I do is I send a PayPal invoice to, uh, with a down payment, and then you can make payments as as, you, as convenient for you. All right? So I'll send you a PayPal uh, All right. invoice for that one. All, All right. right. So, so 6B was claimed for $650. Congratulations, Ronald. And, hey, before we move on, I just wanted to say thank you to uh, Nick as well. Thanks, Nick. That was a great, great thing. Yes, thank you. Dinner right, out Nick, with I think we're coming up on your offer here, right? Yay, thank you. All right, All so right, we're moving so over to the Nick, 9B. Nick wanted to do 1800 on the Cardi and this complex Gray Mora, right? That is correct. All right. All right, let's do it, Nick. Let's do it. All right, so we're putting the 9B and the 10B up, sold together for a total of $1,800 to Nick Barucci. Thank you so much, Nick. Nick, 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 Nick Barucci. Thank Nick. you, Nick. Patron saint of dueling dealers. Very cool pieces. Absolutely. All right. Gray so Morrow. Now, talk about an underrated guy. Gray Morrow is very underrated. Very, very All right. true. All right, so the 10A artwork is going to be the next one. Thank you, Nick. And remember, if you guys, uh, if you all send me an email saying, hey, this is my PayPal, I will send you an invoice right back as soon as I can, either tonight or tomorrow morning, so that you can just pay it right away, and it goes out the next day. Very true. All right. So this one is uh, your Charles Vest, Elric Pencil Art Commission. It's at $1,200. What can you do on this one, Anthony? Wow. It's so understated and beautiful. Uh, right at a thousand dollars, I think is uh, a good value on the Elric. A good uh, wow. How about nine fifty? I can do nine fifty. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's painful for you. Yeah, I, I just, I just, it's just so simple, but so effective in this artwork. I love that. And this came from this old. Uh, not old guy, but I mean, you know, he's about 10 years older than me. So he was at these conventions and got these sketches from the artist. And it's the first time to market on the Vass and the Wendy Peeney and the Neil Adams and a couple other things that I'm offering tonight for the first time. All right. So uh, you're at 950. 950 on the Vass. That was your 10. Yeah, 950. Yeah. All right, and your 10B is gone, so we're moving over to your 11. You like Charles Vest, don't you? So it turns out this was a published cover. Does that disqualify it from today's festivities? Not at all, not at all. No. Nope. Uh, all right, so I didn't find it. I was looking around because I thought this was a cover quality piece, and it turns out it really was. 
because it was a cover for the Comics Buyer's Guide. Thank you, Tatiana, for finding it. You there know it is. It, Tatiana. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that is a published cover. Thank you, Tatiana. That's a great buy for anyone. Yeah. Wow. I'm good. So I'm going to hold the line at 1500 since we found out it was a published cover. Is that fair, Bill? Yeah. No, you don't have to change your price if you don't want to. I mean, especially okay. since, yeah, no, I totally get it. That's perfectly fine. 1500 yeah. still. And Nick, Nick, uh, yeah, knows a good value when he sees it. Okay, Nick, that's for your pile as well. It's the Comic Buyer's Guide cover to number... 1626 wow yeah all right thank awesome. you nick Show hey us. and just so you know yeah. you do have you've got an offer uh from matt james on your 8a artwork for 975 that was the frank cho that you were at 1000 so he, the offer is 25 dollars lower than you were asking just a 25 dollar difference well if i can lose a couple hundred i can lose a couple of 25 all right, That's wrong so, one. Yeah, yeah. So eight, we eight. can do the show at nine seventy-five. Want right, to do so. the show at nine seventy-five? The butts. I love the butts, and I cannot lie. All right, Matt James picking that up for nine seventy-five. Congratulations That's a on really that. Really good price. That is a great value. I I actually am losing a little bit on it, but we're trying to make some stuff happen on the show, and that is a beautiful Barbara Gordon. Skulking around with her, with their beautiful butts. But wow, well, yeah, she said, it. "Okay, what's next?" There you go. We are moving over to your 11B artwork now. That was the Wendy Peeny. We've got now, three I'm, more artworks here. I'm actually shocked. This is still on the on the. Uh, yeah, this is so rare. I've never had one of these before. I mean, I've been doing this since '95. I've never had a Wendy Peeny color pencil commission like this. And uh, people always ask me at shows, um, the Gunny Winnie Peeny Elf Quest. And uh, are you changing the price or holding firm? Well, I want. Can I take the nine hundred from Cat Taka for the best seller? Well, I was going to do that after you were done with this one, right. but yeah. All right, I'll do fourteen hundred, but I'm going to be tight on this one. All right, so you're moving to fourteen hundred as the asking price on the Wendy Peeny, yeah. and you've accepted the nine hundred dollar offer from Cat <laughs> Taka on your. Yep. 10A. Congratulations, so this, Scott. Look at that. I'm keeping this under plastic. Sorry about the glare because it's... And this, again, came from this, this sketch cover collection that uh, I went and got from this, this guy. He got it from Wendy Peeney in 1980 and it's never seen the light of day since. So it's it's 9 by... 9 by 12. It's 9 by 12 paper. All right. So you were at uh, fourteen hundred dollars on that one. We've got two more artworks to go from you. Next Thank you, is... Kat. Nice to see you. Nice to hear from you on that one. All right. So, yeah. So this cool. one, uh, we got a, a big frame piece by the uh, Mike Waringo, who was taken all too soon. And uh, we, this is, uh, like I said. Uh, the guy I got it from said he got it from Mike and said it was a different uh, collection, uh, but uh, he said this was a self-portrait as him as Doc Savage. He was doing some Doc Savage work. Uh, I can do 1500 on it. Uh, it's going to take a little extra shipping in the frame, uh, the glass and frame. And it's nice. What? No, no. It's, it's, like, a, good, it's oh. a good frame. It's 12 by 18. Art, 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 art. Nice frame, too. There you go. $1,500 on this one. Now we've got one more yeah, artwork. It's very cool at. because it's a man of bronze and it's a bronze, sort of bronze, coppery uh, framing, matting, and all that exactly. stuff. Yeah, so that's really nice. Now, this is where I thought I'd get uh, some action. 1973. The uh, My okay. friend that, uh, that works with Neil uh, texted me back and he said, This is from 1973. And uh, Neil was doing these uh, Just look at that. adventures, amazing adventures, volume two, number 18, with Roy Thomas writing it. But Roy uh, didn't finish the writing and left the book. And uh, then Neil left the project as well. All right. We I didn't get it. What's your price on this one, though, Anthony? Yeah, I was telling the history. Okay. You uh, got it? I'll go. 
You got an mm -hmm. offer at 2700 Yeah. I, I'm going to go down to 32 This This is, you know, Neil Adams' pencils at his best. Wow, 1973. Look at that. Uh, Price? Like about uh, 3200 3K on time payments. Rich Cirillo. Well, wait a minute. We have two 3Ks. Right. The, the offer from Joe came in before Rich's. Uh, Rich Cirillo's. So, and Rich Donnelly is still is offering uh, 2900 So, yeah. So, Joe... Acardi has the three thousand dollar offer to you. All right, can uh, I, and I was Albert Moy just offered three thirty two hundred for it. So did Rich. Yeah, but Albert came in right before Rich right. Cirillo. All right, well, I and taking so it down a, to thirty two. It was the first to thirty two. It was the first. Right. You took it to thirty two, and Albert was the first one to offer you thirty two for it, just ahead of Rich Cirillo. So it goes to Albert. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Congratulations, Albert. Albert. All right, so that's a claim at 32 for the Albert of the Moy. Yay. Congratulations, Albert. That's a that's a beauty. Now, uh, we did have a couple offers that were made to Mike during that round, too. There was uh, there was an offer of $5,000 on his 12B artwork. That was the, right. uh, yep. What was I at, 6300 on that? You were at 6300 on that one. And you there was another offer from Paul. Rizagawi for your 6B artwork. That was your Bob Layton pinup. You were at 675 and he offered 600. Yeah, I'll do I'll do the uh, 600 on the uh, Iron Man. Okay. Uh, I'll knock another 500 off, Mike. I'll do 58 on this one. So I'm taking a thousand off. I was at six. I was at 68. Went down to 63. I'll do 58 uh, for tonight only. The ASM 262. If Mike's interested in that. Okay, and those are the only uh, offers that I saw that went out while Anthony was on screen. Yeah, I still only have six pieces if anybody wants to make offers on before we go off the air. So. All right, all right, all right, went to Cat, right? And then, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. We got all that written down for you. And my pr the producer was asking me which one just sold. It was the 6B from Mike. That was the Bob Layton artwork. It sold oh, for. no, he took the lead back. It was, ah! 600. It was for $600 to Paul Brzezegawi, B R Z E G O W Y. All right, so, so I have the Windy Peeny still. How about a 1300 on that? Anybody at 1300? Rich, Ulick is just 2000. Pencil and ink by Kirby, 68. That's a great thing. Did the Morrison move? No. The Morrison. No, it did not. No? It did not. What, what was the 950 that went? The 950. Okay. Don't make me don't make me look too hard right now. But yes, uh, we're in the re we are in the 60 seconds of uh, the end of the thing here. Yeah, you've, you've okay, so we got the Bill Morrison at 900. Is that is that is that right? And this is your Bill Morrison is at 900. Your Alfredo Alcala was at 950. The uh, anything Let's before that? Hmm? 850 on the. Uh, on the Alfredo. Rich, right, I'll well, do 22 for the pair. So that way you're getting this for 19. You're getting you're getting this for 19 one. and this for three. I'll do 2200 for the Brent Anderson and the, the Jack Kirby pencil and ink Ulick. 2200 I'll do. Anybody so for here and here? You get the pair for 2200 What was it? What was uh, the Terror Tango down to, Bill? Six seventy-five. Really? Wow. Yes, it was. Anybody at uh, six hundred on this, just to try to take the lead back? Six hundred. Yeah. Double well, figures. And Rich is offering you us to split it at twenty-one hundred for the pair. Just uh, so you Mike, know, Mike. Mike, I'll go fifty-five. Go. Mike, I'll go fifty-five hundred. That's the lowest I really want to go. Fifty-five hundred. That'll be a thirteen hundred. Rich, I'll do the twenty one hundred for the pair. That's oh, that uh, yeah, yeah, that does. Don't go any lower on anything else, Anthony. You don't want to do it. Sorry about that, Anthony. I probably shouldn't have done that for you. Well, you were still nah, leading. Right. So, right, Rich, right, right. Rich Donnelly is picking up the twelve A and the one B for a combined twenty one hundred dollars. Werewolf by Night, folks, is a great piece. I mean, that is. 
That's a great piece. I think what were we at? Six seventy five on that one. Oh, Dracula. Dracula is better. All right. So, anyway, so here's the deal. So, so the score is accurate, everybody. We we can stop showing the pieces because uh, we have okay. a, have a victor. Yeah, just a couple of things that were pointed out that uh, Rich Cirillo says, you know, he sees his uh, claims going in ahead of everybody else's. And it's the same thing that Anthony was upset about on Monday when he was trying to claim some pieces for the show. Again, I will try to explain this as best as I can for everybody. This this is the problem with YouTube and really on Facebook, it's even worse. But on YouTube, when Not you when you type claim uh, you know, your information into the chat and you hit enter, YouTube immediately puts it into the chat right when you did it. Now, the problem is, is that everyone else sees your claim three seconds later. So, and you're actually seeing everyone else's claim three seconds later. Right. Here you in the studio, first. here in the studio, we are seeing them all coming in at the right order. So it's just YouTube's way of trying to make them look perfect when they're really not. It wouldn't look really great if you hit enter on something you were trying to put in the chat and it would appear three seconds later. But in fact, that's what it's seen by everyone else that's watching the show. So that's that's how that works. It looks like it's ahead of everybody else when it's tight. We see it in the proper order. Now, I know that the producer just had the information up on the screen for contact information. And I see Michael Lovitz is saying he'll do the 5,500 on the right. uh, final piece That should piece be well. 20 claims, not not 18. I, I, have, I have only four left. Well, we'll get the counts right later. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, that's another 5,500 is going to Mike. So these and are the last four that didn't sell, folks. If you're interested, these are the last four that didn't sell. So, uh, I yes, this was a, a good show. Everybody knows whenever we're up against the Heritage Signature Auction, we're always going to do a sketch show just like this one. It's a lot more fun, uh, and, and it's better for us, and it's better for you because it keeps more money in your pocket so you can uh, deal with them over the next three days. And uh, it's a doozy. We got some Hulk cologne. As everybody knows, I am going on vacation, and so we will not be having this show next week. We're going to take that uh, Wednesday off, but uh, <laughs> it's a wasting away in Margaritaville. Thank you so much, James. I sincerely appreciate that. Uh, but we will be back in full force on the, the 30th of the month, the two weeks from now. Both of these guys, because we had a sketch show, we basically got three weeks of being able to prep for a really – knock out fantastic bout when we come back in two weeks so i look forward to, to taking this vacation but i can't wait to get back and do this show as well but uh trust me i am going to tune out for the, the 10 days while i'm on the road and again i appreciate it, all the support that we've had from the show whether yeah. it's the, the the dueling dealer show the amateur show we've had an incredible success with this thing I mean, I think Mike is close to a half a million dollars in sales after 22 yeah. episodes. Yeah. Anthony, you're, you've got, you're, I believe, over 350. You guys are just killing it. And Hey, listen, been... we had 36 sales today. We had 36 sales today because I believe I'm at 20. Anthony's at 16. We had 36 total sales. So. Can you exactly. address and Donald Shepard, uh, uh, Bill? Because uh, he's like, how do I get 6B claimed? Is he the, didn't this get claimed? Was no. that by Ronald? Ronald Shepard claimed oh. 6B at oh. at 650, and uh, I believe he, he was the one that asked you about time payments as well. All right, so just email was, me your PayPal, and I'll send right. you a PayPal invoice that you can uh, pay down. Right, I'm pulling it up for everybody to see on the screen. Their email addresses are there. Please email them this evening. Don't wait till tomorrow. Let them and, know. And always email your address, even if we've done business in the past, folks. Exactly. Well, it's fine if you had 3%. Otherwise, I prefer checks. Thanks so much. Email them the pieces you picked up tonight, your mailing address, and your name in your YouTube handle or Facebook profile. So there they are on the screen. Do it tonight. Don't delay. We all like to uh, have be able to have everything kind of closed the next day. It's uh, just good business and good etiquette, everybody. Take, take care of those that are taking care of you here every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. So Again, and one last thing. Happy Father's Day to Bill. Happy Father's Day to Anthony. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And if everybody Yay! has dads, give them a hug and a kiss this Sunday. Enjoy your Sunday and have a relaxing day with your family. Hey, exactly. Mark, Lindy, I still have that Submariner Everett page from last week if you're interested. <laughs> ah, come on. You want to piss your wife off a little bit. Uh, that uh, Yeah, all right. Well, anyways, everybody, thank you so much. And uh, I, you know, again, we'll see you two weeks from tonight, folks.
there were a lot of super chats out there too this evening. I wanted to thank uh, James and Nick and Jeff Wedding, Ron Lim, Tony Bristler. Thank you everyone for the super chats this evening. I will. I, I promise I will use it on margaritas and dinner with the kids. So thank you so much, and we will see you again in two weeks. Doozy show, folks. Thank